Y'all are gonna call me crazy, but Phantom Blade had the best trailer. Okay, so I saw a PlayStation Showcase. And let me tell you, this game Phantom Blade had me pretty freaking impressed. So it looks like a typical Dark Souls game, but look at this animation! <laughs> Goodness gracious, it's almost like watching fencing in real life. Like, graphically, this seems impressive. Now, with a lot of type of gameplay where, you know, you're, you're just mashing to attack, uh, there's a constant problem with uh, animation, I think. Especially, like, in the Batman Arkham cities. Because in order to keep combos going, a lot of times you'll see Batman just jump, like, impossible <laughs> uh, leaps across the map to be able to hit the opponent. Um, and a lot of times with movement and things, it doesn't really feel that realistic. You don't feel the punch or really see it. But with this, with the impact of the sword, like, hitting other swords and things, it actually looks like I'm watching fencing. Like, this is insane. And the fact that it functions as a game. This looks like something out of the next generation of consoles. This looks like it could change and influence how other game mechanics uh, operate and function in the future because as far as like swords go and seeing swords in video games this had something new it felt this felt like it was pushing the envelope and it definitely seems like it may actually have an impact on the gaming industry and the future of games because the animation was that good it was like smooth smooth it was clean clean Honestly, this animation seems too good to be true. Like, this must be choreographed or something. Like, I hope not, but it's just too clean, too realistic. It honestly just blew my mind seeing this. Like, I hope that this is exactly how it plays, how it looks when you're playing. Because if this is, in fact, real, this will be the standard going forward. There's no way you can tell me otherwise that this will not be the standard. And honestly... Everyone, the whole hype around this game right now is just the graphics and animation. There is nothing else that you can tell me. It made <laughs> the Assassin's Creed trailer just look like complete crap. It looked like trash in comparison to this. You can tell that that Assassin's Creed trailer was made in the last Unreal Engine. Like, they took too long to put this thing out. Like, Unreal Engine is really pushing the gaming industry right now. Like, we are seeing things that are just graphically beyond anything we've seen before. And the Assassin's Creed trailer, it was stuttering in comparison to almost, like, every single trailer I saw there. Like, oh my goodness, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Like, Spider-Man 2 did not compare to a lot of the trailers that I saw. Like, Spider-Man the Venom Suit, awesome animations, does not compare to the sword combat. It just doesn't. You can argue with me, but you're not going to change my mind. Like, even Spider-Man couldn't compete with it. And I think, to be fair, you know, this isn't the first Spider-Man, so it's obviously going to feel less impressive than what it was the first time. This is the first time playing through Spider-Man. Man, that, that was a fun time. <laughs> you know, web-slinging and everything, and then seeing him in the physics of him flying in the air. And, yeah, it's just so cool. Uh, but, you know, it's, it is uh, a new card of paint, you know, it's nothing new under the sun. We've gotten this 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 iteration of Spider-Man. A lot of the animations and things are carried over, web swinging sped up, you know, that's cool and all. But it does not compare to this new Phantom Blade. This Phantom Blade has me excited for the future. I haven't been this excited in a long time when it comes to games. Have not been this excited. This is hype. 